Okay, dialogue two for this week's uh, title, uh, Restaurant Talk. Let's have a look, see what do we have here. I need to, uh, se again, set the the image for you so that you know where this would be uh, on where in terms of your dining experience would you use this particular dialogue. Okay, this is when you've had your starter or appetizer main course or an entree. Uh, now you've just finished your meal. Now these days, most people tend not to want to have a dessert. So I'm showing you in this dialogue what you need to do if you do not want a dessert. But obviously, if you want a dessert, you would make, you'd need to change this. And I will show you how to do that uh, after we've done this first dialogue. So here we go. The waiter would come up to you and say, would you like to see the dessert menu? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, could we have some coffee, please? Certainly. Would you like your coffee here or in the lounge? Now, this is an interesting one. And I've never seen this ever in a textbook. But I have done a lot of dining in my <laughs> many years. And one of the things that I have been asked several times is, would you like your coffee here or in the lounge? The lounge area is usually a very nice, comfortable area where you can sit down and have a, a drink, and maybe a beer or a whiskey or a brandy after your meal. And you can also have coffee in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Hotel, bar, hotel restaurants are very, very keen for you to do this. <coughs> It's a really nice way of breaking up the evening. You've been sat at your dinner table and after you finish your meal, if you want to go and have a good chat, then hey, go into the lounge and eat, drink your coffee. I think, for me personally, it's just a much nicer place to drink your coffee. Okay, uh, we'll have it in here, thank you. Uh, would you like to have liqueur with your coffee? Now, a liqueur, what is it? It's usually a sweet alcoholic drink. Uh, I think some very famous ones are like Tia Maria or um, or Amaretto. I remember Am Amaretto. Um, so Tia Maria or Amaretto or something like that. A very sweet liqueur. Of course, some people prefer to have a whiskey or a brandy or something after their coffee. Uh, with their coffee, then that's fine. Just ask for a coffee. So um, in this case, in the dialogue, we've got uh, no thank you. Um, so there we go. There's the dialogue uh, number two. But let me just say, if you did want a dessert, uh, the waiter obviously would come and say, would you like to see a dessert menu? Oh, yes, please. Certainly. And then they would go and get you the dessert menu. And then when you get the dessert menu, if you look at dialogue one, I'll have the chocolate gâteau. And could I have that with ice cream or could I have that with cream? Uh, so there you go. There's just a, a variation on the theme, but generally speaking, these days, I notice most people don't want a dessert. Um, I guess everybody's health conscious now. So there we go. Dialogue number two. Uh, would you like to see a dessert menu? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, could we have some coffee, please? Certainly. Would you like your coffee here or in the lounge? Uh, we'll have it here, thank you. Uh, would you like to have a liqueur with your coffee? Uh, no, thank you. So there you go. Uh, dialogue number two. Now, let's move on and get into this week's podcast of the week. Okay, this week's podcast of the week. Oh, forgive the graphic, by the way. It looks like... Um, we didn't get the graphic working properly there. But anyway, this week's podcast of the week is called Business English Pod, the business English podcast for professionals. Now, I had to listen to this. It's a really good podcast. And basically, this Business English Podcast is a weekly uh, downloadable show for intermediate and advanced business English learners. Each Business English podcast lesson is focused on different language skills, meetings, presentations, telephoning, negotiations, socializing, travel, conversation, etc. Um, and there are all sorts of things that you can learn inside the Business English program. For example, clarifying, disagreeing, questioning, expressing opinions, persuasion, etc. Um, so Business English podcast uh, is a, an excellent podcast podcast if you are interested in learning business English. Now, while we're talking about business English, let me uh, tell you a little secret about business English. Uh, many people think that business English is uh, d difficult, boring, 
uh, I've heard all sorts of um, descriptions for business English. Uh, as a business English teacher myself, I can honestly say, and I really do mean this, that business English is possibly one of the best ways to learn any kind of English. The reason for that is that the dialogues and the English that you learn is generally real English, absolutely real English. They are really, really good way of learning English. Um, the conversation tactics, the small talks, there's everything in there with business English. It's not just, it's not an MBA business course. It is generally a real English learning experience. Check this podcast out. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. But remember, it might be a little bit difficult. It is for intermediate and advanced business English learners. So uh, be a little bit careful. It might be difficult. Um, it, it's always very difficult for me to be able to tell you how difficult something is because I am a native English speaker. So anyway, podcast of the week, Business English Pod, the Business English Podcast for Professionals. It's a free download through um, Apple iTunes Music Store or of course you can go direct to their website which is www.businessenglishpod.com and again that link will be available at the end of this show and of course in this week's show notes. So let's move on now. That was podcast of the week. Let's get into some practice. Okay, let's move on into the practice session here. Um, this is the dialogue number one. So we've got, excuse me, yes sir, madam. Uh, I'm or were here to ready to order. What would you like? I'll have the mushrooms for starter. Okay, and for your main course, I'll have the steak. How would you like your steak? Okay, so there's the dialogue. And if in this first practice part, you are going to be the customer. I will be the waiter. Okay, so you answer those questions. So ready? Excuse me. I'm ready to order. Uh, I'll have the mushrooms for starter. Uh, I'll have the steak. Okay, so there we go. We have, um, you should have been saying, uh, yes, sir, madam, what would you like? Okay, and for your main course, and how would you like your steak? I think I got it wrong there. You were the waiter. Now, just a quick point on this. The reason I've allowing you to practice being the waiter is for some of you you may wish to go and study abroad and you may want to get a part-time job I know for example in Australia or in the United Kingdom if you were studying there you as a student would be allowed to work in a restaurant or a bar or McDonald's or Burger King or something so I just wanted to give you some chance to practice being a waiter or waitress okay this time you'll be the customer so we've got excuse me I'm ready to order I'll have the mushrooms for starter and I'll have the steak okay so have a quick look at that right it's going <coughs> uh, yes sir madam uh, what would you like okay and for your main course how would you like your steak Okay, let's bring that back. So you should have said, excuse me, I'm ready or we're ready to order. I'll have the mushrooms for starter. And I'll have the steak. Okay, let's take a break now. And when we come back, we'll have our learning tip of the week. Practice time number two, expression of the week, and this week's to-do list. So join us again after this short break. <laughs> 